Hello Milk Tea Lovers, welcome back. Today I am going to share with you something once again taken from my book All Things Milk Tea. For those of you that already have a copy, it is on page 232. It is all about frap. We are going to make two sizes of taro milk tea frap. One is for 16 ounces and the other is for 22 ounces. Because this is frap, for sure we are going to need a blender. Once again, when you select a blender, make sure you get a heavy duty one, especially if it's going to be used a lot. For the ingredients we are going to use, because it is a milk tea base, we are going to use strong black tea. I'm using my Taiwanese black tea here. And this is my brewed black tea using a mocha pot. Please check the link above for how to brew this using the mocha pot. Okay. And because this is taro, I am using taro powder. I'm using this local brand here, any brand will do. And again, because this is frap, we are going to use frap base. And for the milk, we are going to use evaporated milk. Carnation is the brand that I'm using here. And also condensed milk. If you have a milk syrup, you can use the milk syrup. But for today's video clip, I am going to separate condensed and evaporated milk. And we are also going to use my homemade sugar syrup. This is optional. If you don't like it to be too sweet, you can skip the sugar syrup. And because once again, we'd like it to be pretty, we are going to top it up with whipped cream. We need my brewed black tea. This has to be strong. It cannot be the same one that you use for your milk tea. Okay, because we are only going to use a small amount, which is three ounces or 90 milliliters of brewed black tea. If this is not strong enough, there will be no taste of tea in your resulting frap drink. Okay, three ounces of brewed black tea, two tablespoons of my taro powder, one, two, 40 ml of condensed milk, and 20 milliliters of my evaporated milk. So if you have a milk syrup, it is two ounces or 60 milliliters of milk syrup. 15 milliliters of my sugar syrup. You can skip this if you don't want it to be too sweet. And that's really all we need there. And of course, our frap base. For the frap base, you can put two to three teaspoons of frap base. Let me just put two teaspoons, one, two, and that's all we need for our 16 ounces cup of taro milk tea prep. So we need one full cup of ice and we are ready to blend. Pop into the blender. Start on low speed. beautiful taro milk tea. We are going to try this later. On to our 22 ounces. For this, I'm going to use the same blender. There's no need to wash it or rinse it because it's the same drink. For this, I am going to use four ounces or 120 ml of my strong brewed black tea. For my taro powder, I'm going to use four then my 16 ounces. This time I am going to use three tablespoons of my taro powder. Now, the proportion of the taro powder really depends on how good or how strong your flavor is. This one is quite strong, so I'm using only tablespoons, not scoops, okay? For the condensed milk, I'm going to use the same 40 ml.
and then 20 ml of my evaporated milk. So for those with milk syrup, it is two ounces of milk syrup. Okay, so into the blender. And finally, we are going to put my frap base. Well, not quite finally. Frap base, one tablespoon, so that's three teaspoons, two, three, and the optional sugar syrup. I am going to put 15 ml, again, half an ounce or 15 milliliters of my sugar syrup. In the recipe, I put one ounce, but I'd like it to be less sweet, so I'm going to put um, 15 ml. One full cup of 22 ounces ice, and we are ready to blend. Start in low and go high. Blend it at least 45 seconds, otherwise your drink might not be fully blended. If you use the right proportion and the right amount of ice, your cup should be just about full, exactly what you need. Okay, so there you go, everything in there, and that is the full 22 ounces cup. So finish it off with whipped cream. I'm very generous with my whipped cream, and finally, Top it up with a sprinkle of your taro powder. Sixteen ounces, twenty-two ounces, and ready to put your straw. If you would like to put some sinkers there, by all means, go ahead. This is just a simple way of showing you how to make taro milk tea prep. Okay, there you go. Two delicious taro milk tea prep. Time to give them a try. Mmm. Wow. The trick here is to use strong black tea. If your brewed black tea is not strong enough, then the taste of the tea will not come out. This is delicious. It might be a little bit sweet. For those that are following my recipe, you might just use the milk syrup and skip the sugar syrup. It is a little bit sweet for me, but there you go. This is the commercial recipe, which you can adjust according to your customer's preferences. 16 ounces. Mm. I just wonder why taro is one of the best selling milk tea and now I know why. It is delicious. A little bit sweet for me, but then again, you can adjust the sweetness level. If you have any questions, do let me know. And if you'd like me to cover anything in my future video tutorials, do let me know. Comment below. In the meantime, stay safe, stay tuned. Don't forget to get a copy of my book, All Things Milk Tea. Details are now to order in the description box below. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.